Hello everybody and today as I promised you in the last video we will do an implementation of the boots algorithm to multiply in Verilog this is gonna be a 4-bit multiplier and this is what we're supposed to achieve here is a little scheme that I did in the first video because there are gonna be two first video we're gonna focus on making this this module this module is exactly the same as this one and this one and this one and in the second part of the video we're gonna we're gonna show how how to instantiate four of them and make the four bit four bit multiplier so what this module is gonna be doing is like checking the four four possible cases we can have in while checking q0 and q-1 that they are 0 0 1 1 1 0 and 0 1 and that's it here's the first check the second check the third check and the fourth check and so let's get started so first of all we make a new project like always and we will call this inside booth and then next next finish new module and let's call this booth in the output and input output we will have a in m and q in outputs are gonna be a out and q out pause 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 and a in is gonna be 3 down to 0 as equal to m q in is gonna be different because as we saw in the last video we need another bit in the right hand side next to the least significant bit to do the algorithm that's q minus 1 so it's gonna be 5 bits q down to 0 and next finish so again this only this module only checks the four possible uh, cases we can have so we need an always to be always checking. So what are the, imp the inputs? A in A in M and Q in begin and let's start with the case the case is gonna be of the last two bits of Q so it's gonna be Q in but just one zero and that's it what's the first possible output we can get and it's two bits zero zero but we realize that zero zero and one one does the same thing so we're gonna put it in the same place so what to assign this well it's not technically assigned but we need to store it to store the output what we're gonna do in one place so we need some registers register 3 to 0 and that's a out let's copy this and we will, and this will be q and it's gonna be 5 bits so okay so so 0 0 and 1 1 the only thing they do they do is shifting to the right copy the most significant bit and shift it so that's what we what we are gonna do so a out it's not a out it's a temp because a out is the out It's gonna be we add bracelets because this this register is gonna be composed of some separate things. The first thing we need to do is copy the first the most significant bit of a in a in the most significant bit is the third well the fourth but it's true here and then the shifting part a in three to one A in zero, it's gonna be in the most significant bit now of Q. 
So Qtemp is going to be a in, a in 0 and Q in, this is the shifting part, 4 down to 1, that's it. So another output we can get is 2 bits. 2 bits 0 1 and what this does is is just add add and shift so we're gonna add first it's a plus m so we got a, a wire a 4 bit wire and we're gonna call this a sum and this is gonna be a in plus m. That's it. So now we a sum is a plus plus m. So now the only thing we need to do is shift it. So a temp is gonna be a sum comma a sum bit 1 and qtemp is gonna be a sum 0 and q in 3 to 1 well actually 4 to 1 so the last thing we can get is 1 0 And this, what this does is just subtracting a less b, but again we do we do that first. This is gonna be four bit, no three bits. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna call this a subtract sub, and it's gonna be a in plus. Subtracting is the same as adding the two's complement of m, so that was that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna negate m and add one to do the two's complement. So a sub is is the the subtract part, and we only need to you guessed it, shift it. So a temp is gonna be a sub and the shift part it's gonna be 3 to 1 and q temp it's gonna be a sub and q in 4 to 1 that's it. We only need to, in case, close the always. We need to add some things here because now a sum depends on the inputs, so this also will change. And sub subtract. And also, we need to change this because I made a mistake. This is Q. And we need to assign the outputs. We get all registers here, but none of them is assigned. Assigned a out is a temp and assign q out is gonna be q temp. That's it. Okay, let's run this. Okay, syntax is correct and I'm not gonna um, simulate this because we're gonna get a, like a fraction of the output, the real output. So trust me, in the next video, when we do the top, we are gonna test everything and it's gonna be fine. Thanks, thanks everyone.